Okay, I created an earlier video about how to create a table of contents. What I'd like to do now is extend this conversation now into how to create a, a table page or, or, or a page for figures. So tables being basically tables as they appear here, figures being anything that from a photo or a graph or some sort of image, uh, we can call those uh, figures. Okay, so you're either going to be referencing in your text in your results and discussion section either tables or figures. So here, what I'd like to do is uh, look at this table, and if you right click, you first you select the table, and you want to insert a caption and type in the text however you'd like. You can select I would select to for it to appear above the table so according to APA we want to have the titles above the table and basically that's it. You would type in the text however you want. I'm not going to do that now because I've already added a, 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 a caption and you hit OK and what that does is it inserts this text here. So it doesn't look like it's a caption, but it is. It's actually a caption that's associated with this chart. And what this allows you to do is create a uh, table or a page called list of tables. And you can also do one for a list of figures. List of tables and list of figures are going to appear right after the table of contents. So here you would have your, your table of contents, which I talk about in another video, how to create that automatically. Uh, and you know, try to have your numbering system and your table of contents. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but try to use Roman numerals and lowercase for the tables, and then start with page number one as the first page of your actual introduction. But in the tables, we go in, and uh, I'll create one here just below as a as just a test. Oops, don't want to do that. Go into insert index and tables, table figures, and we have an option here, either table and figures. So if you want to cre create a figure, you click that. Table, you cl click uh, table. And you've got different formats. You select the format, and you click OK. Now here you have some options down below. I would select this ellipsis type option where you've got the dots separated. Um, and I would leave everything else here by default. And it will generate this table automatically just as it appears here. Everything will be lined up and uh, I probably I don't necessarily like what I did here. I would probably change this to make sure that the the ellipses or the dots are at the bottom of the text not in the middle. But basically it can look something like this and again this is done automatically so whenever you make changes to your document you can always go back and right click and update the field which will then update these page numbers and or the text that uh, that are appear here. So if you go back and edit the caption, uh, it will automatically update this list of tables. So any tables that you have, you can include it again after the table of contents. Any figures that you have will be included after the table uh, list of tables. And then right after your figures, your tables and figures, you'll begin your your document. Now don't uh, disregard what I have here. This is not going to be what you have. Uh, you will include the title of your uh, thesis. But I just wanted to show you uh, the steps involved in how to create a list of figures and a list of tables. If you do have any questions about how to do this, uh, let me know.